tine no reko, broda ve ko agiye. Aze tine no ro nicha, ma nicha giye. Aze tine no ro buja, ma buja giye. I'm gonna make it.
Father, we begin to open our mouth to heaven so God will thank God. Father, a teacher, and also a mentor. 
you taught me so much about life. It pains me to know I won't smile with you again or laugh to your jokes again. Rest in hell with my hero. Love you, Dad. Yeah. 
Because you are a mighty God. Jesus. As we hear your word this evening, Father, you will talk to us in the language we understand. Amen. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Can everybody shout a louder Amen? Amen. 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 This is a God bless you. God bless you, man. Thank you, thank you. Papa, God bless you. It's a wonderful country. It's a, to me, it is a glorious gathering. It's a gathering that cannot be forgotten. And uh, I know it's a gathering that is going to do something in the life of somebody. Amen. Amen. Uh, without wasting time, let us go to this place. There's a particular place I want us to read in the Bible. Hebrew chapter number 9, verse number 27. Hebrew chapter number 9. Verse number 27. And as it is appointed unto man, once to die, but after this judgment. Can we read it again? And is it appointed unto men, once to die, but after this the judgment. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, our gathering here this evening, we are not going to waste time. But uh, it will be very nice for somebody to listen attentively with a few minutes we have. You know, what we are sharing this evening says, there must be judgment. There must be judgment. You know, there's something we discover. People don't believe that there is judgment. People don't believe it. But look at what the word of God says, eh? That it is appointed unto men who wants to die. And after that, judgment. Okay, which means, let me say this to you, which means, you know, death is something that is bound to happen. Everybody is bound to live here one day. Everybody must die one day. And after I'm discovering this, some people think that eh, I will remain here forever. No, it's not possible. Everybody will die one day. No matter who you are. In fact, no matter what you use to equip yourself, and like those people who have tried to make up their mind, I will say to you, one and something. When you get one and two, you must go one day. And even those who use chance, whatever, to hold yourself. But they will die when they are dying. And so, what I'm trying to say is this somebody, when we write, say, eh, it's appointed unto men one, to die once. Which means, we must die one day, no matter who you are. No matter how great you are. No matter how powerful you are. No matter what you use to equip yourself. My friend, listen very well. You go die one day. Praise the Lord. Amen. No matter how beautiful you are. No matter how handsome you are. No matter how wealthy, how wealthy you are. 
no matter how rich you are, no matter the group you belong to, yeah, no matter what you say, equip yourself. One day you must do what? Yeah. So I'm not going to talk again. Oh, 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 oh. You will die one day. Now. Oh, Basic. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No matter your level, no matter the level of anointing you carry, no matter the level of grace you carry, no matter what you use to hold yourself, you say, you know, they enter. One day you go enter. You go enter. Once you sleep, you know, wake up, you don't enter. Praise the Lord. So I say, praise the Lord. Yeah, there are people who believe that you know, go enter, you know, go enter, you know, go enter. I beg, keep quiet. No matter what you use to hold yourself, one day you go enter and you will sleep. The person will not wake up. But the better thing is this the Bible said, after that, there will be judgment. Praise the Lord. What actually, what is the, the, the judgment? In fact, the major judgment is this eh? how you live your life on this earth. That's the major judgment. Praise the Lord. The major judgment is this eh? what you are doing. The, what, the condition you, you are when you die. How you are, how you are living your life here. But the Bible says there must be judgment. So here now hear me clear. Eh? No matter what anybody is thinking, have this in mind that the one day there must be judgment. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, like you see me, our brother has already finished his own work. Basically. And then he's in the and then God. And one day also, uh, we will still finish our own. And when we finish our own, we are going to face God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you believe eh, that one day you will die, if you believe it, I think it's better that every one of us will begin to amend our ways. No, if you believe, you're going to live here one day. Now. Amen. Amen. And if you believe that one day you will live here, the best thing to do is this. Each and every one of us will begin to amend our ways. One day, come, little children, they go. Children, they die. Small boys, they die. Age one, they die. Girls, they die. Women, they die. And so, but what I'm is this. The condition you are, when death occur, what after you are doing that period? At that time, are you really at peace with God? Because there are some of us today, eh? This is an opportunity for us to talk very well. A, there are some of us today. We are behaving like we will not go die. Who told you? Amen. Amen. We are just acting as we will not go die. But a day is coming. Death will occur. Come that very day. Let me tell you one thing. Eh? No matter how you pray, as long as the hour has come, no matter what you apply, no matter what you will do, it will not work. Come, I remember what I learned about Moses. You know, God told Moses, you are serving his over. Moses tried all the rules. Moses, a great servant of God. God told me, your assignment is over. You go come back. Moses prayed and prayed. It did never work. As powerful as Moses was, as great as he was that time, a man of great signs and wonder, a man that divided the sea, you understand? A man that confronted Pharaoh and rendered Pharaoh powerless. But the day came, God said, your assignment is over. Initially, he never wanted to move, you understand? But he tried all he could. God said, no, you are coming back. So have this in mind, in this our gathering, this evening, it is appointed unto man. It is appointed unto everyone. You will die once. After that death, the next is judgment. Praise the Lord. And if you believe it, that there will be judgment, the best thing to do is this, the people and bend your way. Each and every one of us, let God help us this evening. We will begin to amend our ways. Praise the Lord. As I will end this word of presentation, we are going to pray. And let's to be my savior. If I within me, I want to make heaven. I don't want to be a failure. Because I know that will be judgment. Because I know. One day I will leave here. Because I know just the way eh, this barrier is going on. That is how one day they will see me preparing for their own barrier. And don't say, God forbid, you can't be here forever. Praise the Lord. 
church and say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even if you say God forbid, you know the word. Because one day you must be here. And the way people gather here also, that's how they are going to gather also for your own side. So, so what is important is this. Can we begin to think how to amend our ways? And the only way, eh, the only way we can amend our ways eh, is to accept Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Simple. That is just number one step. That's even the major step that can help us amend our ways. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said, as the men have received him, eh, he gave them the power to become the children of God. And the only thing we can do that can help us in the time we are now is to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. To say because of the truth. If you want the word we are, even if they not tell you, you will know that the word is turning here and there, turning upside down. The only solution anybody can, can apply in his or her life is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Take Jesus as number one in your life. Because one day, death will occur. And the no amount of prayer you will apply that can make you to escape. You see, there is no amount of charm. You are wasting time. Once the hour comes, no matter what you are trying to apply, it will go work. So, have it in mind, there will be judgment. Have it in mind, one day, I must live here. I cannot be here forever. And I can we use this opportunity we have this evening. This is a wonderful opportunity. We can use this opportunity and make up our mind. Father, help me. You know, I want to accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Because I know one day I will live here. Then the question is this. If you think eh, knock on your door, or knock on our door, are we sure that we are going to be in the sight of God? Everybody is forever. You can't be here forever. It's not possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't be here forever. Everybody is going to be here forever. You can't be here forever. If you will reach 110, some will be praying to go. If you go reach, if you go reach, you go reach. If you go reach 150, you go to the back of people. If you go grief, you go rich. I want to serve you. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be number one in my life. Yeah. You know, can we talk more than say, Father, help me to amend my grace. Help me to correct my grace. So people do this in me. Our life will never want to serve you. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. I want to serve you. One day, you go to one day, you go
to that. And after that, judgment for you. Brethren, there's a question before you. If Jesus should come today, can you can be, are you ready? That's another opportunity you are still on the mercy seat. I want you to get yourself prepared. The man, the day he died, wasn't the day he prepared to go. That takes everybody by surprise. You may give an appointment next 20 years. Maybe it's not knocking at your door. The best you can do to yourself is to give your life to Jesus. It's to surrender all to him. To make things easy for you. So that the door of judgment, the Lord will not say, get behind me. You want us in iniquity. But let the Lord receive you into his bosom in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sing this song again before we pray.
know that you, 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 are, you are a son of Oban or please just come out. Yeah, I want to pray for the Lord. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I want to pray. I want to pray. Family. 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 Any pastor that is here, uh, if you are a pastor, if you are a pastor, you are allowed to come out, please. We are going to pray for the for the children. If you are a minister. Sudden death, the price of untimely death, the price of any grave. We want to commit this ones in the hands of God that this price they are following our faith shall no longer come their way. Amen. Our righteous and everlasting Father Lord, we thank you. We commit all the sons and daughters of Obano in your hands. We are counting them like eggs into your palm. But whatever that is committed to you never gets spoiled. This world will live longer than their parents. Amen. This world will get to the age of 120 before they can go back. Amen. Nothing, absolutely nothing will cut their life short. Amen. The death of their father will not bring stoppage in their career. Amen. The death of their father will not bring stoppage to their prosperity. Amen. They are the light into this family. Amen. To lighten this family that every atom of darkness will disappear in the name of Jesus. Amen. I commit this family family in your hand this evening. And I will make a declaration that any man, any woman that will use the face of their father to turn to, to subdue them, to put fear into their life, by the thunder of heaven, by the Holy Ghost nuclear weapon, we scatter them in the name of Jesus. place to place, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the west, they be heard all over the world in the name of Jesus. Father, what they are going to use to bring this barrier to a success, a success they will not lack. Wherever the money is coming from, you that pays a million for, you will replenish a billion for in your pocket. Above all, Lord, they will live in divine hell. Amen. I said they will live in divine hell. Amen. I use them as a point of contact reaching every member of this family. Amen. Wherever they are, the Bible said the essence of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Father, your eyes will run to and fro over their life. Amen. You will preserve them. Amen. You will defend them. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. By Jesus' mighty name, Amen. they are saved. Yeah, I'm blessed, Lord. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Tu n'as pas de plus. And we are going to leave. Make a heart open. And we will be blessed. Now that we are about to leave here. Every life will be pushed. And we are going to pray from the town. Thank you for honoring the full sense of your sense of the people. As a family, we return all glory to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we are going, we are not leaving your presence. Oh. Your presence will envelop us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are the one of the righteous. Yes. You will order us home. When we get our destination, Amen. safe and sound. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as the need of this place, Father, I ask, on the day appointed, there will be fair weather. Amen. We close heaven against rain. There will be peace in the land. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, we pray for as many that are here, as a brother to come and look up this place. We ask God by your spirit to force them all. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God has spoken once to us and we have the power belong to God. Every power that will arise against your life because of this barrier, the Lord will open up and swallow them. Amen. There will be no attack after barrier. Amen. There will be no sickness after barrier. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You stand complete through the through this barrier, you will stand after barrier. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. power that stop men will not stop these children. Amen. Kingdom that stop men will not stop these children. Amen. They will grow from strength to strength, Amen. power to power, Amen. glory to glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Bible says, Say to the righteous, it is well. It's well with your spirit. Amen. It's well with your soul. Amen. It's well with your body. Amen. May the Lord bless your going out and coming in. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are preserved Amen. from the winds of destruction, Amen. from the winds of ego. Amen. In the name of God, the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. 
Understand me, you wear 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 you you I'm not going 
Let's thank God. The Bible says in everything we should give God thanks. Open your mouth and say, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father, for a wonderful day like this. Thank you, Father, for this celebration. Thank you, Father, for this burial ceremony. Open your mouth and thank God. Say, thank you, Father, for the success. Because it's successful already. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Father, we declare. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And Father, we commit this burial ceremony to your hand. We take control over this meeting tonight. And Father, every power of darkness and every spirit of confusion and conflict, we bind and we cast them in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask, oh God, that you take control. And Father, we ask for a fair weather. We ask for a successful uh, celebration tonight. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We declare this occasion open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pastor A.B. here, Bora. Uh, I guess we we all know the reason why we are here. We are here in respect of our brother, our father, our uncle, Mr. John Akoko Obano. So, uh, let's Mr. John Obano. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. This is my first time doing this. Uh, I'm aware some of you, I, I'm sure some of you are aware that we are, we are still expecting a are MC to bet because of time like I just have to you know come and start it up before the MC you know show up so let's proceed so he was survived by two wives five children brother nephew nieces and many relations and the, the name the names of the wives are Taiwo Obano Christy Obano and the children are Henry Obano, Harrison Obano, Bright Ob Obano, Goodness Obano, and Marvelous Obano. Please, can we give them a round of applause? Thank you very much. So at this time, I'm going to call on the children to just go around and you know, appreciate everyone present here. You know, right now, please.
without wasting much time, I'd like for, we're going to call on the Egbe to please join the children to do the, the opening dance at the moment. Egbe, sir.
at this time, uh, I'm going to call on the dance, come on and dance with this children. For the streets of Alan.
Harrison is the next. Harrison is here. Harrison, please, you can come up. Come out to the dancing floor.
Club va avoir nos spéla sur le bord aussi du Adelie Toilet Club. Avec. Together, 
and everyone, if you know you are here because of them, it's that time you come out and dance with them to show them love. That's my goodness song. and marvelous.